Hello bookworms, welcome to another review video. Today is A Light in the Flame. It's another Flesh and Fire novel. It's the second one by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Book two in the Flesh and Fire series. I love the cover with the wolf and the moon and she's keeping with the theme with the tree branches and leaves. This one's all gold and silver and it carries over to the back as well. Last one didn't have, had like dragon a dragon behind it. This one's just with the, the wolf in the front. Something I learned the last video, which is the first book of the series, I'll put the link in the description box below. I was saying main character's name wrong. So her name is C. Rafina. C. Rafina. This one has a nice map of Elysium in the front. Elysium. Uh, I'm not very good at centering it on the camera. And here she's got a pronunciation guide. Her names, a few places, and a few terms. And I'm glad she put that in there. I wish it was in the first book. But yeah, the main girl, her name is Zebrafina. And then, of course, Ash or Nyctos, however you choose to call him, the two main characters. I devoured this book in a couple days. The best, the best books are the ones that make you feel all the emotions. And I can tell you now, this one gave me all the emotions. I laughed out loud, I was pissed off, I was stressed out. I felt heartache for the characters when things happened. There was anger, there was frustration, there was happiness, there was joy, there was tears. It was all the emotions. It was very intense, action-packed book. Again, um, some graphic scenes. It is spicy, so uh, 16 plus for sure. That is on theme with Jennifer L. Armentrout's books though. Her books are spicy. I didn't find these ones as spicy as the From Blood and Ash series though, which is the sequel series to this one. This one is a prequel series to that. I love the uh, Draken, which is their, their term for dragons who can turn into people, which is awesome. The It is in-depth. There's still some things that I didn't quite... Um, well, obviously, open-ended. It's book two of book three, or of a three-book series. At least I think it's only three books. Jennifer L. Armentrout, if there's four books, not that there's a problem with four books, but uh, making me wait for the third book is bad enough as it is. If there's another one, please be writing it right now, because I can't wait. So the third book for this, I said in the last video that it would be released digitally before a physical copy got released, and I was wrong. I will not be able to read a copy of this book until December, I can't remember the date, but December 2023. It is January 2023, so I am waiting for a very long time. I may reread them when the third book comes out because it's going to drive me nuts. I'll read the back. I usually do that right away. I am out of practice with this. The only one who can save Sira now is the one she spent her life planning to kill. The truth about Sira's plan is out, shatter, shattering the fragile trust forged between her and Nyctos. Surrounded by those distrustful of her, all Sira has is her duty. She will do anything to end Colas, the false king of gods, and his tyrannical rule of Elysium, Elysium, thus stopping the threat he poses to the mortal realm. Nyctos has a plan, though, and as they work together, the last thing they need is, an, is the undeniable scorching passion that continues to ignite between them. Sira cannot afford to fall for the tortured primal, not when a life no longer bound to a destiny she never wanted is more attainable than ever. But memories of their shared pleasure and unrivaled desire are a siren's call impossible to resist. 
and Deceiver begins to realize that she wants to be more than a consort in name only, the danger surrounding them intensifies. The attacks on the Shadowlands are increasing, and when Cola summons them to court, a whole new risk becomes apparent. The primal power of life is growing inside her, pushing her closer to the end of her calling, and without Nikto's love, an emotion he's incapable of feeling, she won't survive her ascension. That is, if she even makes it to her ascension, and Colas doesn't get to her first, because time is running out for both her and the rounds. So yeah, high, high action book, lots of things happening, lots of things um, unexplained. There's a few things that do get explained in it, which I like. It's nice having things wrapped up so you can get an ending for them. Again, the character is completely relatable and seeing their growth, both Nyctos and Sira, as they grow, as they learn how to deal with their feelings and their relationship is beautiful. Uh, yeah, like I said, some, some very frustrating parts. I felt heartbroken for Sira at one moment and, uh, well actually a couple moments. We have to read the book to find out which ones. I love Jennifer's writing. It's just beautiful. It's in first person. I never mentioned that in the other video. It's in first person. It's from Seera's point of view. So anything that happens when Seera isn't there, we don't know what happens. We just have to deal with it, which is normal. There's a lot of books out there in first person. I don't have a problem with that. I like first person. The ones that jump from character to character sometimes aren't bad either, as long as the story doesn't get too mixed up. I like playing with the book when I'm talking. This one I also, there's a few pages where the ink is a little lighter. Not too many, obviously I'm having trouble finding one right now so I can show you. And I think it was just like a page that was at the end of a, needed more ink or something like that. I can still read it obviously, I read the whole book in a couple of days because I have nothing better to do with my life. I'm not going to be able to find it. It's fine. No. But yeah, there's a couple pages where the ink is just lighter. That's a little bit, but not enough. Anyway, that's the second book I've had where there was something with the print. I don't remember. I can't remember which video it was now, but there's a book I read where there is ink spots all over some of the pages and it doesn't interfere with the reading but I found it absolutely beautiful. So reading the back it sort of gives a lot away if you haven't read the first book so hopefully you've read the first book before you watch this video because I just gave a whole shit ton of stuff away. But anyway all the emotions and like the first one when I finished it I was very angry and frustrated because it leaves you with another cliffhanger. I literally, okay, the first one I was mad too and I, I yelled out and I smashed the book against my bed several times and tossed it on the floor. I'm not over exaggerating, I was very frustrated and some of you will understand <laughs> my frustration when you read the book or maybe you've read books that have also done that to you because I've definitely read books before where I was beyond frustrated at the end, especially because I know it was worse because I can't get a copy of the third book yet until December. So that makes my frustration higher because I have to wait that long before I can find out what happens. And obviously I knew that kind of ending was coming because there was another book, but it's still frustrating. And it's funny because I still know the final outcome because I've read the From Blood and Ash series. So I kind of know what happens, but I just want to know how it happens and it's, yeah, it's frustrating. Definitely, definitely five out of five stars. Highly recommend it, especially like if you've read any of her other books, if you like Sarah J Moss, uh, who else can I compare it to? These Hollow Vows. Who is that by? Ryan. 
think you kind of can compare it to Holly Black too, but definitely Sarah J. Moss. That's who I think of the most when I read her books. Oh, I wanted to see. What do you guys think? My little Once Upon a Time is so cute, isn't it? My sister in law made that for me for Christmas, and it's just wood burning, but it's so cute. I like having it there in the background in my books when you guys can see it in the videos. One of a kind, made just for me because my sister in law is a doll. But yeah, back to the book. Great, five out of five stars. Glad I own it. Pro we'll probably read it again before the third one gets released so that I can have it fresh in my mind. Such good character growth and depth and layers and political intrigue and romance. Like, it's got everything. It's a well-rounded well book. Go out and read it. But you might want to wait till November. <laughs> <laughs> anyway I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video